to build a website, you need web hosting. Now, web hosting is basically where your website files are going to be sitting. And I have a discount code that is going to give you up to 84% for A2 hosting. The link is in the description of this video. If you use that link, you're going to get up to 84% discount on A2 hosting. Now, why should you get A2 hosting? Let's look at the plans. This is my focus here. It has a very, very good deal right now. $1.95 per month. That is an 84% discount. Let me click on this. And that's for shared hosting. So with the basic plan, which is Ignite, you save up to 84% discount. And you can host one website. You can uh, host your website here. You can, and you have up to 10 gigabytes SSD storage, security, site migration for free, core, automatic backups, performance tools, light speed. Now, A2 hosting for several years has always beaten Hostinger in terms of speed. I always recommend both. Just so you think I'm being biased, I've been recommending Hostinger, but I had to recommend this, especially because of this deal and it's maybe going very, very soon. Now, if you click on this, you are going to pay $1.95 per month. If you choose this, you are going to be paying $3.95 per month. That's for the asset. That's 75% discount. This was previously $12.99, as you see here. And this was previously a $15.99. I'll just click on Ignite. And it's going to take me here. Now, you see, when you use that link, you get this... Um, discount uh, this promotion this promo code is automatically applied which uh, gives you 70 uh, 84 percent rather discount and you can put your information here put all your information here so you are going to be paying just 70 dollars that's 70 dollars which is um you know basically nothing when you compare other web hosting providers like king starter charge leg a leg and a neck so you just choose your credit card and then you are going to pay the $70. So for the next three years, you are not bothering about web hosting. This 1.95 is even cheaper than hosting as cheapest plan. It's cheaper and it gives you more speed. So when you purchase, it's going to take you to the next screen and you will need to log back into your website. So when you come to your when you come to the E2 hosting dashboard, you have to log in. So I'm going to log in now. I'm now logged in and I have some information here. What I want to do is that I want to click on cPanel login and it's going to bring me this page. Now, when I look at this, if I come back to cPanel login, you see I have a lot going on here. I can open support tickets and blurt out my support pin. You can order new services too. But here is where uh, the most of what you are needing is going to be found. If you purchase any domains from A2 hosting, you find them here. If you open any support tickets, you find them here. And you can find your invoices here. So I'm just going to come to the C panel which I opened. My website that is to my cPanel and I want to search for domains and I'll click on this first result and then since we already have this was already purchased when they were creating this account if you wanted to add a new domain name maybe you bought it from Namecheap like the one which we just saw you just click on create a new domain and then you can add the domain name here and then you can click on submit on this account i have just i have access to just one domain name so i've added this domain name here the next thing i want to do is that i want to come to tools come back to tools and i want to look for softaculous uh, wordpress installer or apps installer this is it here on the software and i want to choose WordPress. I don't want to use this um, WordPress E2 optimize and all these things. I don't want all of this. I want just WordPress. I want to have full control over whatever I'm doing. So <laughs> this brings up 
my domain since this is all the only domain name on this website or on this uh, hosting account. I could also choose if there were many, if you have a hosting uh, plan with many more domains, you could just select here and choose the domain name you want. And then you are going to set your username and your password. I'm going to set a username and a password right now. I'm going to change this, change the username and change the password. And then I'm going to install WordPress. I've set my username and my password already. So it's going to give me uh, give me these options. Do I want to uh, integrate backups, improve page speed, insights, email, SMTP, improve rankings and all that, language and all that. No, I don't want any of those. Email, installation details. I can choose to email these installation details to the owner of the website. I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to add the email here and click the email of um, the owner of this website. I'm going to add it here and then I'm going to click on install and then I'll meet you on the dashboard. WordPress is now installing. So it's installing right now and I'm told that it's been installed. So WordPress has been installed on my website. I can now go to the dashboard, the back end of my website. It's redirecting me 